new website that is actually fueled by revenge. It's called She's a Homewrecker.com. It's giving women all over the country the chance to call out the mistresses who they say ruin their marriages. ABC's Lindsay Davis has the story. Be afraid. Be very afraid. When the women of the First Wives Club are done wrong by their cheating husbands, they vow to get revenge. And for those in real life who live by the creed, revenge is a dish best served cold. This is your punishment. She goes by the alias Ariella Alexander, creator of the website She'sAHomeWrecker.com. She says it's a place for scorned women living in this Facebook era to publicly flog the other woman for sleeping with their husband. I think if one woman can just say, oh my God, I do not want to end up on this website. I do not want my, because your life's going to be destroyed. The site provides a platform for women to post the names, pictures, and often torrid details about these accused home records. It was just a way for me to vent. This is how 29-year-old Noemi Sanchez found some semblance of solace after she says she discovered her husband of almost eight years was cheating and demanded a divorce while she was seven months pregnant with their third child. I checked the cell phone bill and sure enough, there's pages upon pages of just one number and I called it and that's when she answered. She, a.k.a. the alleged homewrecker, is now married to Noemi's ex-husband and has a baby with him, one year younger than Noemi's youngest son. He's never going to have the family that my other two kids had. <laughs> but what can I do? What she did was share her story with other scorned women online. Why go on to this website singling her out? I didn't say it was all her. I said that it was also him. And you were willing to forgive him? Yes, I was. Are you willing to forgive her? No. Isn't his betrayal worse? It is. I just feel like she knew. Noemi's ex-husband admits to writing on the site in May, asking her to remove the post, saying the new wife had it in her mind that I was going through problems, so it's not her fault. It's my fault for not waiting until the divorce was final. Relationship coach Donna Barnes says the men are the ones who should be held accountable. I think something like this, it feels good in the moment, but I think in the long run you might feel shamed yourself. I'm truly sorry from like the depths of my soul. Dana Scott is one of the many alleged homewreckers branded on the site. In her relationship, she became pregnant by a colleague she claims lied about being separated from his wife. Three months ago, she was shocked to discover this post. Do you think he loved you? How could he have loved me if he, you know, has a wife and a family? Of course not. Dana's afraid the post might prevent future employers from hiring her. I could lose a good opportunity simply because someone Googled my name. Oh, we don't want her working here. She's a homewrecker. As for Noemi, she says she no longer wants her ex-husband back, but she says she does have a message if he and his wife are watching. Be careful because there's homewreckers out there. Noemi says her ex does have joint custody of their three children and does pay child support. He did not want to speak on camera, but did tell ABC News that he and Noemi were separated when the new relationship started and the baby was conceived. But call me old fashioned. I think I'm a blame the husband kind of girl. This essentially, though, seems to be the modern day scarlet letter. Well, yeah. Yeah. Nene yeah. agrees with you. This came in on Twitter. If the man cheats, it's his fault. Put blame where it belongs. Shame on him if he can't keep it zipped. Oh. Not Pitbull Mama, though. <laughs> Pitbull Mama, I understand and empathize. Was there myself last year, but it does no good. Hmm. Where's the he's a home record <laughs> <laughs> oh, Wow. Thank you. No <laughs> problem. Everybody is so quiet. <laughs> <laughs> <laughs>